Um, almost 8 in the morning and um, I just made myself a coffee I usually make a um, coffee with almond milk or oat milk or some kind of plant-based alternative and it's very yummy I like almond milk I don't usually drink it that often um, and then I usually make for breakfast some peanut butter and jelly this morning I had um, some fig marmalade and some blueberry marmalade that I just received from Italy and it's so exciting I can't wait to try it and then of course I had to try one of these um, oops, uh, bocce that um, have come in the mail as well from Italy and yeah so today I'm not going to school and I'm going to the local library because there's a very cool crochet and knitting class uh, I mean, it's not a class, it's like a meeting, but I like to learn and I have the materials, so I want to show up and see what I can learn and then we'll see, we'll see. I'll show you what I do in a day and what I eat in a day. I don't know, there's a cat over here. Come here. I love peanut butter and jelly. When I eat this bachi, I love bachi di dama. They're so good. They're like chocolate and in the middle there's a nut. Mm. And there's always a cheesy message in the middle. So yeah, now I'm gonna eat this peanut butter and jelly while I contemplate the view. It's very nice. This is so good. I've never had peanut butter this often before I came to the US. But here they're obsessed with peanut butter. And I love it. I just can't. So I try to eat as plant-based as I can um, in my days. I'm finding it easier than Italy, which it's definitely weird, but it depends on the family. I mean, this family, I'm eating more plant-based and, and there's more um, plant-based alternatives, so especially like to cheese and milk in general. Well, in Italy, yes, we have a lot of options, but not this many. And then, yeah, the thing I struggle with the most, I think is cheese and like replacing cheese when I eat pizza or in quesadillas or Mm, something fast or when I'm eating outside stuff like that but I've been vegetarian for the past almost six years now I'm gonna try the one with the blueberry um, marmalade I've tried to do the veganuary this year I mean I always try but it's not always a success I always try my best and this year was very very good I ate um, only cheese a couple of times, but all the rest I managed to replace it and it was very good. I was pretty proud. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments if you tried it, if you know what it is, or if you are vegan and if you have any suggestions, mm, stuff like that. I always like to know new recipes and new ways of cooking. So. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, finish my breakfast, drink my coffee, and then maybe stretch a little bit and then get ready to go. And yeah, see you at the next thing I eat. <laughs>
Okay, so I just got back from the library and it was so cool. Now I'm having a little snack with some orange and some colored carrots and that's it. That's my midday snack and I think I'll have lunch soon. Um, yeah. This orange is very good. It was the first time I went to the library for this fiber arts um, class and it was so so cool I really loved it and my goal was to learn how to how to um, crochet for lefty because I have hooks and I have yarn but I don't know how to start so um, I was trying to learn from someone who can do it but they were having a um, rug hooking class today um, and then I met another lady who actually was doing something very different which is some pine needle uh, baskets so then I've started something similar to and she was so so cute because she taught me how to start one and it's basically uh, pine needles and you just add them as you go from the center with a, with a string or wire defense and you just make this uh, base bigger and bigger and then when you have the shape you just start putting them um, and wrapping them around it I don't know if it makes sense but then it actually becomes a basket so it's very very cool um, and so now I have a new hobby or something to do which is not crochet definitely not but um, something I think even cooler because she's um, a, a Native American bloodline and she learned this technique from her relatives in indigenous tradition and I can't wait to get back on this as soon as I'm done eating. She said she made more than 300 baskets with pine needles and she was very good of course because mine is not that perfect and not that tidy. Wait, this is the back. Oh, while hers were like so pretty and the spiral was perfect mm, but hopefully I'll get the hang of it and we'll get better something more homey and cozy it's about 2 p.m. and now I think I'm gonna have lunch my host mom made a soup with tofu and other veggies and some um, noodles what is this broccoli some other stuff yummy but I think I'm gonna add some more protein because I need it I usually eat lunch at school so uh, not on my own and at the canteen with some friends um, I don't eat the canteen food uh, but I bring my own and I usually bring some rice or beans or stuff like that and yeah so but with my host family here um, we usually have dinner together so yeah let me get ready for lunch and <laughs> This is a lunch. Um, the soup has tofu, noodles, and vegetables. And then I added one smart dog, which is uh, soy based, I think. Well, bon appetit to me. 
Um, I am pretty hungry. And then to this, I'll add a glass of water because we need to hydrate. So, mm, this is very good. I don't like watching or reading or scrolling while I eat because I want to be focused on the food. And if I'm reading or watching something while I'm eating, um, I'm not focusing on the flavors and everything. And it's actually pretty interesting. And I was reading an article about this the other day. It said um, how we, like what we eat, what we're watching TV or scrolling on Instagram or reading a book, we actually eat faster without chewing that much, which is not the best, of course. Um, this is yummy. But, you know, sometimes when you're on your own, it's always nice to watch a video or a documentary or a movie. Sometimes I do it. Too spicy. Um, this afternoon I'd like to take a nap, because I always need a nap after I eat, and when I'm at school it's not always possible, so I'm happy to be home today and be able to nap for a bit. I just need like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then I'd like to exercise sooner or later. And then um, I'll probably have to do some math, which is kind of boring, but it's not the worst. I'm not doing like bad, bad stuff. Which, and then what? Oh, I'm reading a very interesting book about um, cities and uh, plans and like architectural things related to nature and how to um, be more sustainable. And it's very interesting. I'm loving it. But it's in Italian, which is tricky and challenging because um, every single time I read in Italian, um, then it takes me a while for um, my brain to readjust to English, like speaking English and understanding English, which is weird. But I really want to read that book and it's not been translated in, in English yet. And now for a little dessert, I'm going to eat um, a date with peanut butter and jelly because I'm obsessed with this combo. I love it. And it's not too heavy, but it gives a lot of energy, which is crazy. So I'm going to take some peanut butter and put it on the date. I'm going to cut it in half and put some peanut butter and then jelly. It's just so good. Because I've actually decided to put some coconut flakes on it because, I don't know, I'd like to try something else. It should be good. If you've ever never tried it, loser. I really suggest you to try it. Divine. Okay, I just took my nap and um, for dinner I am making some pizza because Abby and Julia are coming and I wanted to cook pizza and we have the ingredients so I've started the dough and now it's um, rising. I forgot to film the process but it was pretty easy like flour, water and yeast and a um, little salt and olive oil, so that's it. And I really like my recipe, and it's 75% hydrated dough, meaning it's very airy and light, and um, it rises for a longer time than usual doughs. And uh, yeah, I really like it. And it should be ready in like three, four, or five hours, so um, I'll let you know how it progresses. Yeah, I love making pizza, and um, I hope it'll turn good.
I forgot to film an outro so here I am um, the pizza turned out very good I liked it and so yeah this was all for today's video I had so much fun filming it and um, this is all I ate uh, in a day so definitely let me down in the comments if you guys enjoyed this uh, type of video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content uh, like this I make a lot of vlogs and videos about uh, my life here in the US and if you want to join this amazing community which is growing a lot so um thank you all and see you guys in the next video bye